All right, this example problem that I'm going to work goes along with lecture 15. And in it, the object is we have flow that's going out of the um, sluice, under this sluice gate in this reservoir. And this is a vena contracta that you have right here. And eventually it ends up into a hydraulic jump. Um, this would be uh, assumed to be a subcritical uh, slope here because you are uh, getting a critical, uh, you know, you're getting a hydraulic jump. But the key is we're going to be wanting to know what is the distance between where we know that the depth here and we're going to say that this depth is equal to, uh, what do we have here, 0 0.457 meters. And down here I have a depth of 0 0.5 meters. So, and so the question becomes, what is this distance between those two points? Now you recall that we went through a derivation uh, in lecture 15 where we said that the gradually varied flow equation looked like this, dy dx is equal to the bed slope minus the friction slope over 1 minus the fruit number squared. And we could use that equation to go through and solve this, but what we're going to do is use an earlier version of this that was in a, a you know in a more expanded form, and we're going to use the for the form of the equation s uh, sub o times delta x plus v1 squared over 2g equal to delta y plus v2 squared over 2g, and then I'm going to carry this on down to right here, and then it's going to be plus s sub f times delta x. So I'm going to use that form of the gradually varied flow equation to, uh, to solve this problem. And we're going to remember that we've got delta y is equal to uh, y2 minus y1. And um, we're going to obviously look for the solution. Is, this is delta x, and we're going to call this delta x here. All right, so I'm going to move to the next slide where we have some more, more room here. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm just going to reproduce my equation there, s sub o. Uh, delta x plus v1 squared over 2g equal to delta y plus v2 squared over 2g uh, plus s sub, o, uh, s sub f times delta x. All right, and so, you know, if you're looking through this, you recognize that that's the, fri the head loss due to friction, and uh, we can go through and solve this. So if I simplify this equation here, this becomes delta x is equal to delta y plus v2 squared over 2g minus v1 squared over 2g uh, divided by s sub o minus s sub f. We're given in this problem that s sub o is equal to uh, 0 0.0003. The n value is equal to 0 0.020. And uh, as we mentioned before, we've got that uh, y2 is equal to 0 0.5 meters. That's the downstream end. y1 is equal to 0 0.457 meters. All right, so we start plugging some things in. We have to, first of all, um, understand that that friction slope, we're going to solve for that off of the Manning equation. Remember the Manning equation, v is equal to 1.49 over n are the two-thirds s sub f to the one-half. And so we're going to rearrange this and say that the friction slope s sub f is equal to n times v over, and again this is going to be an, an average v over the reach from one to two, v average, and um, that's going to be divided by the hydraulic radius average to two thirds, and then we're just going to basically square the whole thing, and we have to put uh, <clears throat> uh, instead of 1.49, that's uh, what we would use for English units. We're going to use a one here because this is a metric problem, and again, the one would just go away in this equation. So if we look at this, and we look at uh, location, and let's go down to the next slide. If I've got uh, location and the upstream location is A and the downstream is B, 
we've got uh, the depth is 0 0.457, and we got 0 0.5 for a depth at the second location. If it's a wide rectangular, which was the ch which was the assumption that we made here, because we're we're given a uniform flow rate. Uh, let me back up here, and we know that the little q is the uniform or the uh, uh, unit width of the flow, and that unit width of flow is 4.646 cubic meters per second per meter. So you've got one meter into the board or into the, the, the slide here, which would have uh, a flow rate of 4.646 meter cube per second in that one meter of, of flow width. So as we look at this, we can say that the hydraulic radius is going to be simply equal to y in this particular problem, and that's 0 0.457 and 0 0.5. Uh, we've got a velocity, remember that's equal to Q over A, and we can solve for that as 10.17, so that would just be that value of, of 4.646, uh, so the velocity is going to be Q over the depth, Y, that would give us, uh, in this particular case, let's say that we plugged in for uh, part B here, 0 0.5, that would give us a velocity equal to 4.4 meters per second. So if you go back over here, so um, I'm sorry, not 4.4. Uh, I was looking at the wrong part of the table. That's going to be equal to 9.292. And so I would just write that down, 9.292 there. And then I get a V squared over 2G equal to 5.27 at section A and 4.4 4 in section B. So if I look, and remember I'm, I'm trying to solve for this value of S of F here, uh, I'm going to plug in things there that I've got. So I've got 0 0.020, and I've got the velocity average. Well, the velocity average will be the average of these two right here. So if I looked at the V average, that's going to be equal to 9.73. If I looked at the R average, you know, the average hydraulic radius, that's going to be 0 0.479. And so if I go through here and I look at this S of F, so I can 0 0.020 for the N value. Uh, the uh, average velocity is going to be is going to be this uh, tablet here sometimes misbehaves. 9.73 meters per second is the average velocity. And then I divide that by the average hydraulic radius, which is going to be 0 0.479. And that's going to be to the 2 thirds power. And so then I square that, I come up with a friction slope of 0 0.101 uh, meter per meter. And so, as you know, that's going to be that value there for the delta uh, in the delta x equation. I've already got the S sub O, uh, and if you note, we're already solving for the v squared uh, over 2g, and we're basically uh, having to work through the problem here. So now I've got uh, the delta x. So I'm going to transfer this equation right here to the next page. So now I've got delta x is equal to delta y plus put that delta y where you can tell it's a delta y there v2 squared over 2g minus v1 squared over 2g divided by s sub o minus s sub f so if i start populating things there <clears throat> you can see that i've got a delta y of um, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.457 Plus, and then my v2 uh, uh, v2 squared over 2g is 5.27 minus 4.4 divided by s sub o, which is 0 0.0003 minus 0 0.101. I come up with a delta x uh, equal to 8.21 meters, and that is the distance between right here at the vena contracta to the distance downstream where it's 0 0.5 meters. So that's how you do it. So that's basically 
you know, as I said, we're working on uh, being able to compute water surface profiles. And this is your, your first effort at doing that, the first example problem. And, and this is a, a fairly simplified problem and using the, a, a form of the differential, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, gradually varied flow equation.